and I said, Allah, I don't believe in anymore. This is what, this was my actions. Allah, I don't believe in anymore, but Jesus, if you are the way, the truth and the life, like my friend said, if you're my Lord, God and savior, show me right now in a dream. This is where I said, show me, otherwise forget it. And I went to bed immediately. I slept immediately. It was dark, my room. I was in the spirit in a Muslim country. Muslim people chased me with weapons. They beat me and I got paralyzed and I felt the paralysis in my physical body. I was worrying. Then everybody's trampling over me. I was asking for help. No one was helping me. Okay. Then I looked up, there was a light and the light shone on me and I got healed. Then when I looked carefully, this is what I saw. I saw long brazier hair, light shining from his face. I saw a long white garment, absolutely like a giant, maybe 100 feet or something. <clears throat> and this is the words that he spoke. He said, your family will forsake you, but I never will. I am Jesus Christ, your father, you're my son. I shed my blood for everyone. Everybody knows about me, but they don't know who I am. Believe in me and I'll be with you forever. That's how much I love you, Jahir. Okay. I woke up and there was a supernatural peace in my mind and body. And 15 to 20 years, I wore glasses and my eyesight were ridiculously bad. It would strain my eyes. In that moment when I woke up, I became totally blind, completely blind. I opened my eyes. I was panicking, panicking. I was running around the room. I was like, oh, I can't see. I can't see mom. I'm screaming. No one's helping me. And then sometime later, I, I laid down. I thought I don't want to live anymore. And then suddenly, whilst I was laying down, a light shone. My room was so dark. I don't know where the light came from, but the light shone and came past my eyes and my eyes were completely healed. Okay. And my eyes opened and that was five years ago. So ever since five years ago, I've never wore glasses again. Jesus completely healed me. Now you might be surprised at this. You thought, oh, maybe I gave my life to Jesus, but because I was so stubborn, because I was so fearful with terror of Allah and hell, hell, this is what happened. I remained, I denied it. I thought, nope, I'm not going to believe that. I, I know what I saw, but no, 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 it can't be real.